is a very cool sword, thought Renara. No, seriously. He couldn't feel his paw anymore. Yay. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness, we're going all around the houses today, aren't we? Dizunobe, do you remember that expedition I have, I have sent to the depths beneath the islands? They have returned. Well, three ships have returned out of the eight I sent. Of course I mourn the losses, but the knowledge the survivors brought back is invaluable. What they've experienced is incredible. The air gradually grows denser and more turbulent until it becomes a suffocating, bone-crushing thunderstorm. But the islands... The islands keep stretching for miles below the surface and they have roots that radiate downward, far beyond sight. The, the islands are alive. This is the proof I was looking for. The thick air of the depths keeps them afloat, and in the depths they find their sustenance. Do they have a conscience? Are they aware of our existence, or, we, or are we merely parasites that they ignore or tolerate? This time I will go myself. I need to see this wondrous world of the endless deep sky. I hope you will visit me before I leave. I would like to hear more about that new friend of yours, Renardo. With love, Father. Okay, that's odd. I that's what I'm meant to do. Just open this area up and then not get shot. Can you guys actually tell each other apart? Because I'm thinking, name tags. Oh, okay, explosions. <laughs> that one. So, yeah, that's interesting, and I think it does seem to go with the idea before that it's like, ah, oh, this Emperor was actually really nice to begin with, and something's happened to him. So, yeah, maybe some evil force from from the deep sky is the new pathway made Renato curious. corrupting him in some way. Ah, increased attack speed. Ooh, it's actually level two. That does sound useful. I can hammer the button faster. Same kind of plot. Onwards, upwards. Calaveras was woods. We are learning bits of the plot hither and thither. Which is quite cool. Ooh, I yes, I leveled. Dash through shield. Inflict damage on hooked unhooked enemies. We'll get that. Ah, here he is. Hee hee bee. Calaveras examined the Sky Ripper eagerly. What? How often does a new relic surface? He brushed off Zenobia's warning. Oh, what a sorceress's do about physics. However, he did know a few ways to make the weapon even more precise and more powerful, and quickly went off to tinker. This is a terrible plan. The Sky Ripper no longer whined, but thrummed like a hummingbird taking off. It was ready for war. This is a terrible plan. So, Renato thanked Calaveras and took the legendary weapon to the final battle. <laughs> but where were the other rebel ships? Had something happened? He could defeat the Imperial fleet with a Sky Ripper, but he couldn't govern. He was not cut out to be Emperor, and he had no desire to be one. Big a bad a boom. This is not going to go well. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yes. <laughs> We've been here before, game. There were a few rebel ships here and there, but there was no organization to the battle. Where was the council flagship? <sighs> Something had gone terribly wrong, but he had the Sky Ripper. 
and the ravens had nowhere they could hide. Yes. He's a sky ripper on the Emperor. What could possibly go wrong? Dot 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 everything. Oh, I thought this was a combat. Still can't open, use that door. There's no combat. The portal this is was heavily guarded. It must go someplace they really didn't want it to go. Really heavily guarded. Yeah, especially with the Sky Ripper. That's not particularly heavily guarded. Hmm. I don't think I'll just smash things just because I can. Actually, it'd be good to get a bit more energy thinking about it. In a way, that's kind of the benefit of having the extra energy coming in. Smashing things was fun. Yay, fun. Ooh. This is a different direction. Oh, there's a chest on this side. Was it 12 I needed? I honestly can't remember at this point. Of the w 12 wind essence, I think, for the next sword. For the fourth and final sword. Okay, so that's a new area. That we've never been before. I hear pressing the right button is useful. Okay, so if you run into them the second time, it doesn't do you much good. He was tempted to just stand on the device and let it do all the killing for him. But that wouldn't be important, would it? Or fun. Yeah, I need more health. I'm gonna die. I'm about to die horribly. Woods, where we're probably gonna get horribly murdered again. A very clever engineer named Elon Musk got his start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. Okay. No, we're getting energy. I can waste it though. <laughs> Something I would do. No. The council speaker was on the deck, pleading. Why was she even here? They found our base. She croaked. The council, all dead. We must surrender. No. We could still win this, said Renardo. I have the Sky Ripper. He would be a real hero and save the day, even when all appeared to be lost. You're a good boy, said the speaker. And then she died. The tad patronizing. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Etc. Like health. Health would be a good game. I'll wait here for a bit. Down with the button. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I think smash. 
No. You know what I hate about you guys? Everything. It's like it, it looks like I know what I'm doing at times. Uh. And back then. I think this is yours, said Renato. He couldn't hear his enemy dancer. Okay. Let us just advance onwards. Much further to go in this, in this section, is there? How do we get across there again? Hmm. Uh oh. Sure, I can't. Unless you take me somewhere? This is different. So we're meant to go across there and onto that ship, and we have the final fight. Then we go into that. Wait, and it's about. This is different. <laughs> this is completely different to what it used to be, to what it's normally has been. Tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. And for good measure, he played the beam around it, setting all the other nearby Imperial ships on fire too. And he watched them burn. The few remaining rebels gave a cheer. And then they stopped cheering. There was a hole in the air. A blackness, like a tear in a parchment. Wind was blowing into it, widening it. It grew larger. Crates were falling off ship decks, upwards into the hole. And the world itself seemed bent, like the reflection on a curved mirror as it poured into the ravenous hole. He guessed that somewhere behind that ever-widening hole were gods that had long been exiled. But it didn't really matter. Time was done for here, and soon it was. And just like that, he was alive again, and back on the Farfarer, still fleeing burning Ubar. The book was still open before him. Mm. So, the book was a portal. It took you to the future when your destinies would branch. He had failed and died three times. Indeed. But he'd learned another true thing. So the core was powerful. But dangerous if used improperly. Yes. What kind of hero are you? A hero who takes all necessary steps to save the day. So we need Sky Ripper core is unstable. And is this just the hyperhero one? Yeah. Return of the hippie, yes. So there's how many stories? There's twenty-four different stories. Um twenty-four? Is it then? Ah, I see. Oh, so whichever one I'd gotten, if I'd gotten any of these, it would have given us this one, this truth. I assume... I don't know why I remember getting 25 from. 25 seems a better number. Um, so maybe there's another one once we get other stories. Let's continue. But he was starting to feel like he was getting the hang of this. There was a way through to victory. He could feel it. 
He just had to keep running the path of destinies. With that, the book fluttered back to the beginning, and he fell into it. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? I think... I want to go through and do... Because there's another truth out here. None of these are related to it. I think I'll go and build the Sky Ripper because it's the core that we need. So if, if it's something to do... If we do this, we can then go and visit Zenobia. And that won't build the Sky Ripper and we will be doing a different story. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces deep. And then, this Emperor's horrific sacrifices had brought it back to the surface. Renato wasn't exactly sure how to use the legendary weapon. But surely, there must be some way to do it without provoking another catastrophe. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renato could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. Yeah, so we're going to do this one again. Um, I think... Maybe we should have gone to the observatory then. Huh. We'll see. If there's another... If there's an exclamation mark, I think that tells you there's a truth going down that As branch. As set foot in the island, Renato couldn't help feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No. He was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Did rabbits. Renato felt oddly thirsty, come to think of it. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renato never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Yes, as you're probably noticing, I'm kind of zipping through this. Did your mother tell you it's rude to stare? Ouch. After an auto, a little smug. That was a bad idea. I've lost most of my health. Um, yes, yeah, so we don't need to sit around and hear his narration all the time. Although some, some of it's quite interesting. And I know that I think there's some stuff lingering around that you can grab. That I've kind of skipped over the there people were a few chests. who had built this castle. Did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands of thousands had died. But Renato had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. I assume that's a special that's a special effect that is, but I'm not sure. Increase maximum stamina. Increase maximum stamina. Actually stamina's quite good. I'm dashing around a lot. He was more and more extraordinary. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's no point in doing all this. Go through this door again. Or, uh, let's just. Oh, I don't need to. Let's see what's good. What happens this way? Oh, it seems a little weird not having the stone again. The uh, sky ripper.
Uh, I'm wearing the button. None of it. Oh, Oh, and this was a horrible. F oh, I can't even go through that way. No. Half of me is like, oh, I just want to get through this because I've already done this. I want to get the new tree. And part of me is like, oh, I want to explore the whole thing. I'm sure there's going to be a chance of us coming here again. Horrific damage from those guys before. I can avoid it and rather not have it happen again. 